order statement, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Mr Speaker, it's taking time, but the British economy is healing. After the biggest financial crash of our lifetimes, people know that we face deep-seated problems at home and abroad. At home we live with the decade of debt and the failure to equip Britain to compete in the modern world. And we face a multitude of problems from abroad. The US fiscal cliff, the slowing growth in China, above all the Eurozone now in recession. People know that there are no quick fixes to these problems, but they want to know that we are making progress. And the message from today's autumn statement is that we are making progress. It is a hard road, but we're getting there. And Britain is on the right track. I ask the Chancellor to resume his seat. Now look, let's be clear about this. Each side should be heard with courtesy. The House knows well enough by now that I will afford a very full opportunity for questioning of the Chancellor. But the more interruption, the greater the noise, the longer the session will take, and that cannot be right. So I appeal to members, please, to give the Chancellor a courteous hearing, as indeed, if it becomes necessary, I will appeal to government backbenchers to afford a fair hearing to the Shadow Chancellor. That's how it should be. The Chancellor. Mr Speaker, Britain is on the right track, and turning back now would be a disaster. <laughs>